<laughs> That's a f-ing weird thing. Uh, dude, phobias are f-ing weird. Like, I, 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 I feel like I have a phobia of spiders, and I have one tattooed on my f-ing neck. Um, yeah, does that does that mess with you when you see it? Or you're like, ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to yeah, get it off. It's like, <laughs> dude, what's crazy is that, like, I'll be, like, going to bed and shit, and I'll find spiders in the most awkward places right before I go to sleep, and I'm just like, dude, what if I was, like, five minutes later, and that would have been crawling in my f-ing mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I took, um, we have, like, a smoke detector that doesn't work in our mm-hmm. house, uh, and so I took it out, and this one, like, literally one of my girlfriends, like, babe, look right up there, and this is a spider on a web coming straight down to, like, my f-ing pillow, landed on my pillow, I killed his and literally for like, I couldn't go to sleep because like for three hours, I'm just thinking like, if she wouldn't have said that, I'd be sleeping with this thing. Yeah. Like next to my f- face. Yeah. I think, isn't there, isn't there like some statistic that people eat like seven spiders a month or something? Yeah. I used to say that all the time. And then someone told me I was wrong and that it was myth. made up. Yeah. And uh, so I stopped saying that. But if you're <clears throat> saying that, I'm going to take your f- word but for it. But I mean, there's always, there's always those like weird like stats that like people just make up and they just become like, they, like the, like Marilyn Manson had his rib removed to suck his own. That's true, though. It's not true. No, I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You, you did almost you hang out? me did again. I was almost out? like, really? <laughs> you, I mean, you must have some information that I don't. I, he I don't, did my so. show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We talked about it. I so. felt how many ribs were on each side. <laughs> I wonder how that rumor got started. It's probably some kid that was like, I don't know. just Like, it's a weird. It's and a that was random like, thing. That was like before the internet. Like that was like really before the internet. Yeah. That was like pre- that was the internet back then. Yeah. It was yeah. like Marilyn Manson removed his own ribs so he yeah. could suck his. It's crazy. It was almost like a word of mouth meme. It was- <laughs> I wonder how many it's like times what, it's like what <laughs> stories were <laughs> before the internet existed. You think like I mean he's like fifty now. So you think when he like goes to the doctor and the doctor's like thirty, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like checking around. They do an X ray. They're like, oh, th- this doesn't look right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All your ribs are there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder how many. Did you times- have them put back? back? <laughs> <laughs> are they fake? <laughs> oh, dude, I've known some girls that have hooked up with Marilyn Manson. Really? Yeah. And. Yeah. Um, how how is he in the in the sack? <laughs> I feel like they're always just like that was my goth phase. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I he's got to be. I mean, he's probably hooked up with millions of people. Millions of people. Yeah. And he he always dates like I feel like he he dates some girls that like do not look like they'd be into Marilyn Manson. Okay. You know, yeah. like just like I don't know, varsity cheerleaders. Yeah. Except everybody's weirdly into Marilyn Manson. You think? I think. Yeah, he's got like a weird. He's just got a weird appeal. He's just always been his own person you know he used to scare the out of me when Same. i was a kid but that's dope you got to respect that michael jackson used to scare the out of me as a kid yep. too mm-hmm. i remember like the first time i saw a michael jackson video i legit thought it was a girl mm-hmm. yep and then i was like oh how old are you i'm 29 okay how old are you 28 oh really yeah i turned 29 this year oh dope i turned 30 in a month okay yeah how's that oh wait so you're 1990 yeah okay i'm 89 yeah. uh 30 is it's fast approaching. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited, but I'm scared at the same time. It'll be the same. Like I feel 29 for me was a great. Uh, it was a, it was a great birthday. It was a great year, and I learned the most about myself this year than any other birthday. Okay, really? Yeah. Okay. So there's still hope. In the late, <laughs> what, are, in the you late 20s. are you hopeless? <laughs> are you? I'm like I think I've learned just the maximum stuff about myself. You know. <laughs> There's nothing else There's to learn no about me. There's no improvement from here. <laughs> yeah, There's no improvement. There's no, yeah, it's just all downhill, you know? Oh, dude, I hope not, man. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm just getting, I'm just smarter now. And there's mm-hmm. just like, you know, there's just that I just won't do anymore that I, like when I was 23 or 24, even 26, mm-hmm. I'd probably still do. Mm-hmm. Um, I stopped smoking cigarettes when I was like 27. Okay. Uh, and that was a huge thing for me. Mm-hmm. And now, like, I, I don't even remember who I was, mm-hmm. like, back then. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I can't even relate to that Travis. Um, Are you still making music? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just, I haven't been releasing any. Uh, I released some in, like, 2017. But uh, one thing that I started doing last year a lot was focusing on production for and writing for other artists. Okay. It's, like, executive producing. Oh, cool. Uh, and then I just produced this kid, YK Osiris. Uh, we have a song out called Worth It right now. Okay. Which is dope. This kid, Paris, who I, like, executive produced his whole oh, project. Oh, I love that dude. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I love that project. Oh, I wrote and recorded all of it. Did you really? I executive produced it. Oh, super dope. One Night in Paris? Yeah. I named it. Really? Dude, no one under... Yo, we're in the studio. Do you know you know what one night in Paris yeah. is? It's a sex tape. Yeah. Oh. He, 
The Paris Hilton sex tape. Oh, yes. Dude. Okay, okay, wait. Yo. What am I thinking of? The Owen Wilson movie? No, but One Night in Paris is what we called the EP. Okay. Uh, and like no one understood the reference. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, one, and they're, yes, genius. Oh my God, how'd you come up with that? <laughs> I'm like, Dude, dude, what's what's the movie that I'm thinking about? Is it? It's called One Night. You, in, midnight. Uh, midnight, midnight in Paris. You no, know, Midnight Train. Uh, midnight in Paris. Midnight I think in Paris. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, One yeah. Night in Paris was the Paris Hilton sex tape. And Paris's EP that came, or album that came out. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you just stole the title of her, <laughs> for her album. I mean, one's porn, one's music. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of the same yeah. thing. Um, no, I love that dude's sound. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah we're working on great. the second album right now. That's sick. Yeah. Um, and I got Travis Barker's on there, Trippy's on there. Really? Yeah. Dope. That was cool for me uh, because I'd worked with Travis Barker in the past, but like it was tight because we were on the studio, we made the song. So I bounced the song, texted it to Travis and was like, yo, I'm working with this kid. You got to f with him. And he sent back his, his drum solo like in 12 hours. Really? Yeah. He seems like he's just a beast. Like he wants to just work with upcoming people. That's the and, thing. Like, he's he, always like, he's working, he did that with Lil Aaron. For sure. Yeah. And like his ears like always to the street. Yeah. And like, so he's on, you know, he's on like, he's on whatever's coming up. That's pretty cool. Which is dope. And I feel like he's always been that way. Like he was really the first like pop punk dude to start working with rappers. Mm -hmm. You know, he's yeah. like the first one to make drumming like cool. Yeah. And, like, you know, going toward Lil Wayne mm -hmm. and do songs with the game. So, and you know, he's from Corona. I'm from Riverside. So growing up, he was, I mean, he was always a god to me, dude, mm -hmm. you know? And what's crazy is um, his best friend, Lil Chris, who passed away in the, cra in, in the plane crash, he used to detail my dad's cars. What? Really? So he had Are you from here? I'm from River yeah, Riverside, okay, California. Okay, okay. So uh, Lil Chris had a, a car detailing business. Hmm. And so randomly, this dude's like washing my car. And my dad's like, Travis, come outside. And my dad's like, you love Blink-182 and all this. Right, and I'm like, yeah. He's like, yo, this is this is Chris. And so me and Chris became cool. And he handed me like, dude, like 150 famous stars and strap stickers. The first day I met him, he's like, here you go, bro. And then he took me to the famous store. And then he took me to Wahoo's when Travis opened up the Wahoo's tacos. Okay. And I got to meet Mark and Travis. No way. And I have, I still have the skateboard deck that Travis and Mark signed when I was like 13. <clears throat> That's crazy. And I brought it. Like fast forward like 10 years, you know, when I started hanging out with Travis as like an adult, yeah, I brought the skateboard and he's probably like, you're weirdo. But uh, <laughs> he was like, dude, that's crazy. Uh, you that's know, it's dope. a trip. Um, but yeah, dude, I, and I got to go see uh, the last five shows with Tom. No was, way. Yeah. So they were playing at the Wiltern. Uh, it was a crazy story. It was right when I became friends with Wiz and Wiz was like my favorite rapper, mm. right? Like period. And he's like, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, I'm going to go to the Blink show. And he's like, yo, let's, let's roll. So I rolled there with him. And so, you know, we're standing on like stage and I had this moment of like, I like looked like whiz past me a joint. I hit the joint and I like look over and I'm like, this is like my favorite rapper in the whole world. I'm on stage with Blink-182. Like, like, this is a peak. <laughs> like my 19 year old self is I'm like, what? And then my 13 year old self is like, what? Like, my dreams of music, you know, started and ended with Blink 182. Yeah. Like, I memorized the live album. Yeah. Like, I could do everything. That and then was Wiz so was like my icon for, you know, hip hop and, and just like just being an overall badass. Mm -hmm. So it was like my culmination of my whole life. Like, and I went all five nights, bro. Really? I, did, I didn't give. And was it dope every I single night? Didn't give back the pass. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, I kept the all yeah, access yeah. pass and just went all five nights. And they played a different song as their encore every night. That's sick. Um, and so, yeah, dude, except the last night, someone fell off the balcony at the Wiltern. Uh, really? So, yeah. And he might have died. This dude, like, might have died. So it was like all weird and like at the end. Um, but it was crazy like this dude like jumped off like the top and like, why just i don't know he's loved the show that much no, i don't know <laughs> bad i feel bad because i don't know if he if he passed away or not but yeah it was fucking it was like the probably the craziest five nights of my life jesus christ that's crazy what'd you grow up did whiz to? come every single night no just okay, once okay no okay. no you know he had you're too. like come on man <laughs> we gotta go see this again I heard they play a different song for their encore every, every night. night. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been like, nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> He's like, one, one, one is all I need. Um, were you a huge Blink fan growing up? Yeah, I was. Huge Blink fan. I was always into pop punk. Some 41, like, I was always in like ska too, like less than Jake and like dude, weird. Dude, uh, like so I, I worked with this dude, John Feldman, who's the singer of Goldfinger. Okay. Uh, and I remember like, you know, I used to listen to them all the time. 
time when I was growing up. Uh, Real Big Fish. Yeah, yeah, Do Real Big that? Fish, yep. Yo, Ska got a lot of hate back then, though. I know, it was weird. It's right? kind of like skanking, and it was like such like a weird culture. But I just legitimately loved the music. I mm. thought like bringing horns into rock was like the, or horns into like punk was like the dope shit ever. Yeah. <laughs> My, I used to listen to like, like some rockabilly stuff, and like weird shit like that. Oh, uh, I used to listen to this band called Tiger... Uh, it was a rockabilly band. Okay. Tiger Army. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Um, yeah, and they were they were definitely rockabilly. And then I saw like <clears throat> how rockabilly people dressed and did their hair. And I was like, no, nah, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like old 50s style. You're like, yeah, nah, not for me. Yeah, no, not my thing. And then my my like my f- absolute favorite artists, and this is like weird to say this, but there are two Vancouver rappers called Swollen Members. Swollen members. You ever heard of them? Uh-uh. Damn, that's why I can't say it here because people are like swollen members. You listen to a band called Swollen Members for about- 10 years. Yeah, yeah, Okay. So it's like, all right. I remember I said that. I had no idea what it meant. And then I said that to like one of my friend's dads and he was like, you know what that means, right? And I was like, no. <laughs> and he's like, well, it means boner. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> were you boned? This, yeah, this group is called Boner. <laughs> oh. But they were f-ing amazing. That was where my love for hip hop came from, is from them. Swollen members. Look them up. They're, they're yeah, super will, dope. Yeah, fuel injected. ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to me? I got 